Once upon a time, in lands veiled in mist and legend, wise men and women learned to navigate the complexities of human nature. Their stories, etched in stone and whispered through generations, hold secrets to conquering the darkness that can seep into our modern lives. In this series, we'll embark on a journey through ancient wisdom, unearthing powerful tools to combat workplace toxicity. Let the echoes of the past guide us towards brighter, more harmonious futures. Our self-care, a term so often bandied about, yet its true essence remains elusive for many. In ancient China, the Taoist philosophers stressed the importance of nurturing one's inner garden, cultivating balance and harmony within. The Hindu tradition, too, speaks of the vital energy, the prana, that sustains us. Just as a warrior prepares for battle, we must tend to our own well-being before braving the trials of a toxic workplace. This means nourishing our bodies with wholesome food, quieting our minds through meditation or mindful breathing, and engaging in activities that bring us joy. Remember, dear viewer, a depleted spirit cannot fight. A replenished one finds strength. The ancient Greeks, with their penchant for dramatic tales, gifted us with the story of Medusa, a creature so terrible her gaze could turn a man to stone. Toxicity, much like Medusa, can petrify our spirits if we fail to recognize its true form. But how do we spot the serpents in our midst? Ancient wisdom teaches us to pay attention to patterns of behavior. Does a colleague consistently belittle others? spread rumors or take credit for your hard work? Do you feel drained and demoralized after interacting with a particular individual? These are the telltale signs, the hisses of the serpent, warning us of danger. Heed these warnings, my dear. Do not be fooled by charm or charisma that masks a venomous heart. Ah, boundaries. Just as the ancient Greeks built walls to protect their cities, we must erect boundaries to safeguard our well-being. Remember Cassandra, cursed to foresee the future but never to be believed. She tragically illustrates the importance of setting limits, of choosing to step away from those who refuse to hear our truths. Just as Odysseus resisted the sirens' alluring calls, we too must learn to recognize and resist temptations that lead us astray from our own goals and values. It's about recognizing our own worth, darlings, and protecting it fiercely. We are not meant to face our trials alone. Even the mighty Heracles, tasked with impossible labors, sought guidance and assistance from the gods. Remember, even the most stalwart heroes need a hand now and then. Think of King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. Their strength lay not just in individual prowess, but in the unwavering support they offered one another. In our own lives, let us cultivate these circles of support, these trusted allies who can offer encouragement, advice, and a listening ear when the path grows dark. Each of us possesses unique talents and strengths, just as the gods of Olympus each held dominion over a particular domain. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, was not expected to wield the hammer of Hephaestus, the god of the forge, and rightly so. Embrace your own strengths, dear viewers. Focus on honing your skills and talents, rather than lamenting what you lack. Remember the story of Atalanta, the swift-footed huntress. She knew her gift, cultivated it, and became a legend. So too can you by focusing on and celebrating your own unique abilities. Ah, documentation, the unsung hero of justice. Throughout history, the meticulous recording of events has often been the bedrock upon which fairness and accountability are built. 
Just as ancient scribes meticulously documented the decrees of kings and queens, so too must we carefully note instances of toxicity. Think of the ancient Egyptians who meticulously recorded their history on papyrus, or the Greeks, whose tragedies and triumphs were etched in stone. These records serve as a testament to the enduring power of documentation. In the modern workplace, documenting toxic behaviour can provide a clear and objective account of events. It's not about harbouring resentment, my dears, but about creating a factual record that can be invaluable should you need to seek resolution. Remember, a well-kept record is like a strong shield, protecting you from the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Now, communication, that's a tricky business, isn't it? But oh, so vital in navigating the labyrinthine corridors of the workplace. Remember the story of Odysseus, who cleverly used his voice to outwit the Cyclops? Or the tales of Athena, whose wisdom and clear communication often saved the day? These mythological figures remind us of the power of assertive communication. It's about expressing your needs and boundaries with clarity and respect, without resorting to aggression. Think of it as a delicate dance, my dears, where grace and firmness go hand in hand. In the face of toxicity, assertive communication can be your greatest ally. It allows you to address the issue directly, set clear expectations, and stand your ground with dignity. Remember, a well-placed word can be more powerful than any weapon. In ancient times, wise oracles and seers were consulted for guidance. These individuals, imbued with knowledge and insight, offered counsel to those facing difficult decisions. Similarly, in our modern world, seeking professional guidance can be an invaluable tool in navigating workplace toxicity. Think of the Delphic Oracle, whose pronouncements shaped the destiny of ancient Greece or the wise men who advised kings and emperors, offering perspectives that could alter the course of history. These figures remind us that seeking external perspectives can illuminate the path forward. Whether it's a trusted mentor, a therapist, or a career counselor, seeking professional guidance can provide you with invaluable support and strategies. Remember, my dears, there is no shame in seeking help. It is a sign of strength and wisdom, an acknowledgement that we all need a guiding hand from time to time. Ah, my dears, are you feeling trapped as if the walls of your workplace are closing in? Remember the myths of old of cunning Odysseus who navigated treacherous seas to find his way home. Like him, you too have the power to explore your options, to seek new shores. Don't be afraid to look beyond your current circumstances. Consider retraining, seeking a new role, or even embarking on a completely different career path. Remember, just as the mythical heroes and heroines forged their own destinies, you are the author of your own story. Be bold, be brave, and explore the boundless possibilities that lie before you. The world is your oyster, darling, waiting to be discovered. Now, my dears, let us delve into the importance of self-reflection. Just as the ancient Greeks consulted the oracle at Delphi for guidance, you too can find clarity through introspection. Take time to reflect on your experiences, to learn from your past, and to envision your future. Ask yourself, what brings you joy? What are your values? Where do you see yourself thriving? By engaging in this inner dialogue, you can gain a deeper understanding of yourself and your aspirations. Remember, self-reflection is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and wisdom. It is through this introspective journey that you can truly 